Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osama here. In this video, we're going to explore the drip action inside of GoHydro workflows and see how it can actually help us with a few use cases like reactivation campaigns or nurture sequences. So drip action, if you're not familiar about it, it is basically a way to ensure that you space out the following events like sending emails or SMS by a custom time period, for example, days, minutes, or even hours. A really good example of this is a reactivation campaign. So let's say you have a client with a list of about 3,500 contacts and you want to send a reactivation campaign using SMS and emails and you wanna ensure that they get that over a period of let's say one week. Now in this case, instead of adding all of those contacts into the workflow at once, you can actually set the first event or the first action inside the workflow to be a drip sequence with an interval of 500 per day. That that way it will take seven days to process all 3500 contacts that will receive the reactivation campaign via the sms or the email so now that we have a basic concept of how this works let's dive into my screen right here and i'll show you how to set this up in your go high load workflows all right so i'm in my go high load account here and under automation we're going to create a new workflow from here and let's click on start from scratch once it opens up, we're gonna define a trigger here. So I do have a tag created, which is called reactivations, which should trigger the DBR or the reactivation campaign. So I'm just gonna hit save here. And now the first action that I'll put in here would be the drip action. So just search for drip here. And once you find it, you can actually select the batch size. So this is how many contacts or leads you wanna process at this interval here. So we're gonna do 500 a day and here we will select one day right so you can also choose minutes or hours based on your use cases but in this case we're going to do one day and this will now allow only 500 people per day to process to the next steps which could be email or sms or even if we want to add some more actions they will be processed in a batch of 500 per day and i always like to rename it at the top so i can see at one glance that what my interval is set up to so i'll do 500 per day here and then click on save action and now you can see i can easily or visually see that this is the drip mode doing 500 a day then i'm going to add an sms here so we will do an sms action here so now in the message content you can paste your script here so i have put this script for a chiropractic adjustment where we are sending a message to our existing customers for a special so if they are interested they can reply with yes or they can reply with stop if they're not interested right so we will do an sms step here you can also add an email step if you want uh, but i'm going to do the sms for now here and then after this action, we are going to add a wait step here, which will be set to the contact reply thing. So we will make sure that we wait for the contact to respond. You can also set up a timeout if you want. I'm not going to do it for right now. So we will wait for the SMS reply. And once the reply comes in, we will put a condition here, which would be the contact replied. So if the contact replied is true, and if it is false, then it would be another branch. So if the contact has replied, we can then add another tag, which would be lead interested, right? So you can add that here, or you can decide uh, whichever steps you wanna take forward. And then you can also choose to add them to a pipeline to better track the leads. For example, in this case, I'm gonna do this one right here, and I will add in their name and then type in DBR, or you can also type that here in the opportunity source to be DBR or reactivation. So that way you can see where this lead came from. So now if you look at it, we have basically made a really solid workflow that is going to process 500 texts a day. It's gonna wait for the contact to respond. And if the contact responds, we can add a tag to them or add them to our pipeline stages. And if you wanna really optimize this workflow, you can also add another condition here, which would be if contact reply intent type is positive that way you're making sure that you're only catching the people who are interested so it would not waste your time we're going to rename this to reactivation workflow and once we're all set i'm going to hit publish here and then hit save here and now we're good to go i can just go to my contacts select the list of 3500 contacts or more and then add this tag to them so all of them will be added to this workflow but it will only process 500 per day that way we can make sure that we're not overwhelmed because as you know if you send a message to a lot of people at once and a lot of them say unsubscribe or stop that it can trigger that error message from lead connector or go high level 
which is that a lot of people are opting out. You need to pause your campaigns, right? So this is why using a drip action can really help you to manage your campaigns better. And also at the same time, making sure that you are not overwhelmed if you do receive a positive response. Using this same method, you can also set up nurture sequences to make sure that your whole list does not get the emails and SMS right away, but instead you use the drip action to make sure that you have a smart approach in order to warm your leads. This was all about this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments below. This is Osama signing off. I'll see you in the next one.